What's up guys, my name is Brandon and the public beta of iOS 13 was just released yesterday so that means a lot of new people are going to be updating without really thinking twice about the bugs or the potential downsides of iOS 13 beta. So in this video I wanted to show you guys how to safely downgrade from iOS 13 back down to the latest version of iOS 12. And the reason you may want to do this is because iOS 13 is still again in its early beta stages so there are apps that are you know just simply not going to open other apps that are just very buggy and just other bugs throughout the OS. You'll notice things with the keyboard and things like that. So it's not completely stable. It's not supposed to be. It's a beta. So maybe you updated to iOS 13 and got to check out some of the new features, but now you want to go back to a stable version of iOS 12. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that without losing any of your data. And just as a side note, Apple has made it more difficult to keep your data when downgrading with iOS 13. So for some reason, they changed up the whole process here with iOS 13. So we're going to cover that and try to keep you guys keeping all of your data intact on your phone. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and plug your phone in to the computer. And then you want to go over to your computer and go to IPSW.me and go ahead and download the latest version of iOS 12. So right now, as of the recording of this video, the latest version is iOS 12.3.1, but of course, soon to be iOS 12.4. So whatever the latest version is, or whatever version is signed with the green check mark there, just go ahead and download the IPSW file. It will be a rather large size, usually over three gigabytes. Now, while that IPSW file is downloaded, loading on your computer, go ahead and back up your iPhone to iCloud and to iTunes. I like doing both backups just to be safe. You really only need the iTunes backup, but I do also like doing the iCloud backup. So to do that on your phone, click on your little icon there, your iCloud, scroll down to iCloud, then scroll all the way down to iCloud backup and then make sure that is ticked on and then go ahead and click on backup now. Even if you did an update earlier, just do another update here just to be safe. And you will also want to disable find my iPhone as well. So make sure find my iPhone is turned off there. You will need that in order to restore properly. And then of course you do also want to make an iTunes backup on your computer just by simply clicking on backup either in iTunes or if you're on Mac OS Catalina, just going into finder and clicking on backup right here. So now let's get to the actual downgrading. So you guys know I am on iOS 13 here. You can see I am in dark mode and everything. You can see it here in my finder window as well. I am using macOS Catalina for this tutorial, but I will also be showing you guys how to do it on older versions of macOS and also on Windows. So if you're on a Mac, you just want to go ahead and hold on option and then click restore here in iTunes or in my case in the finder window. And for Windows, that will be a shift click instead of an option click. And then you want to find the IPSW here for 12.3.1 in my case, then go ahead and click on open. It says your Mac will erase and restore your iPhone phone to iOS 12.3.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Go ahead and click on restore. So in the past, you would typically just wait for the restore to finish and then you'd be done. But now in iOS 13, we do have to take an additional step. So on Mac, you want to go to your finder window and then go to go and then go to folder. And you want to go to this folder right here. So it's library, application support, mobile sync, backup. I will have this down in the description below so you could just copy it and paste it in right here. Just go and click on go. And if you're wondering where this location is on your Windows computer, I will leave that linked down in the description below. I will have exact details for how to do it on Windows as well. So then you can see the names are like this. So you just want to make sure that it's sorted by date modify. That's how you're going to be able to identify your actual backup that you just did. So you can see mine right here. Go ahead and double click on that. And then you will see info.plist right here. We want to actually edit this file. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to open with some kind of text editor. If you do have Xcode installed, Xcode is going to be the easiest. I don't have it currently, but I do have Atom, which is a text editor on Mac. And we're going to press command F and we're just going to type in version. And then you can see the fourth one right here is called product version. And it says 13.0 there. We just want to change this to whatever we're downgrading to. So in my case, it's going to be 12.3.1. So you can see there, I changed the string to 12.3.1. Then just go ahead and hit on command S to save. And again, if you are on Windows, just use a text editor and you should be able to find product version, the string there and change that very easily. And then once again, if you are on a Mac, Xcode is definitely the easiest way to do this, but this is also another way. So we can go ahead and X out of that now and shout out to ICU for the tip on changing the build number there or the version number, I should say in the backup file. So now we should be restoring our phone and then we're just going to restore it from a backup once we get back and we will have no data lost. All right, so we are back and you want to keep your phone plugged in because we are going to restore from that iTunes backup. So we're just going to go ahead and get started here. Go to English, United States. You can either go through the process here on your phone and get to the restore section or you could just go straight to your computer and go to iTunes or in my case, the finder window here. And you can see it says set up as new device or restore from backup. And when you see restore from backup, 
backup there, you should see your backup here from iOS 13 that's actually accessible now on iOS 12.3.1. So in the past, you could never do that. But now, since we changed that string and the code there, we can actually restore from our iOS 13 backup. So once you see it here, just go ahead and click on continue. And you can see that was actually the restore page here on the iPhone, but you could do it from the computer as well. It's actually easier if you just do it from the computer right once you get back from the restore. So now it's gonna go through the process here. Shouldn't take very long, but of course that will depend on how much data you had there in that backup. All right, so we are back. Now it says press home to upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that. And then it will come up right here with a progress bar underneath the Apple logo. And this will be the final step to restoring from our iOS 13 backup. Now, just as a side note, you don't have to actually restore from your iOS 13 backup if you don't want to. If you had a backup from iOS 12.3.1 and it's only been a couple of days and you don't want to go through changing the strings and things like that, you don't have to. But this is just to make sure you get all of your up-to-date data, all your text messages, you know, your photos, everything. Make sure all that stays all right so we are back now you can see we already have the background from ios 13 here in ios 12.3.1 so i can already tell it worked so you can see there it says restore completed let's go ahead and click on continue we will just have to sign back into our apple id so we're just going to set up later in settings we're just going to try to get to the iphone as quickly as possible and as you can see there we are on ios 12.3.1 but we have the ios 13 background you can see all of our applications are loading up here that we had on ios 13 and if we go to our photos this is a photo i took just before doing the backup just to make sure this worked and that it kept all the files and as you can see everything is here all your text messages all your photos all your applications everything will still be intact and i'm going to go over here to settings we're going to go to general about and you can see there ios 12.3.1 we can go and unplug our phone now so ios 12.3.1 there with the iOS 13 background and all of our data intact. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is how you downgrade from iOS 13 beta down to iOS 12.3.1 or 12.4, whatever is the latest version at the time of watching this video. If you guys have any questions or run into any errors, definitely check the description in the comments first. If not, leave a comment and I will try to help you guys out. I know it's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult for Windows users since I did do this tutorial on a Mac, but I am gonna try to have everything down in the description below. So if you guys enjoyed the video and you successfully downgraded your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 13 coverage coming very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.